now these x-rays i have organized uh, i'm just giving you certain cases we are going um, from the most difficult to the most easy ones and most easy ones are, are, are the ones which uh, do not require a lot of brain input do not require a lot of intervention and could be done by uh, fresh graduates also and the most difficult ones are the cases which you would require a lot of experience to uh, give a good outcome and the intermediate difficulty one the ones in between do require experience because they have a potential for bad outcomes also but we'll go from most difficult because uh, as we have to remember proximal humerus can kick you back in your butt if you're not very careful now as far as i'm concerned there are only three modalities which are used a non operative in sling most common a philos fixation or a reverse shoulder i don't do hemi arthroplasty it's out of my armamentarium it it is a waste of my time and my patient's time because a non operative is actually better than hemi arthroplasty so only three things to be considered when you're speaking of proximal humerus fractures uh, and, and this is all that i use ever to treat my patients and mostly it will be non op or mostly it will be philos and uh, less than 10% would be a reverse shoulder now i'll just begin with this x-ray because there is a caveat now this is a 70 year old so 70 year old proximal humerus fractures you should always take a deep breath because these are always challenging now this was fixed by a very uh, senior and very experienced surgeon who must have fixed thousands of these and this is like a recent case like this year and uh, senior as in really good experienced surgeon so he fixed it like this i think um all the principles were followed and x rays look i think not bad anybody wants to critique this x ray was there any fault in the fixation also no fault from the surgeon because surgeon is a very good experienced surgeon uh, very well known and uh, so this is how he fixed it but patient is 70 year or 70 71 anything that can be criticized here the calcar screws calcar screws far shorter yeah maybe maybe you didn't find any uh, the first two right the fracture uh it is a poor construct it is bound to fail sooner or later uh a compression plate plating is by compression mode where you have a comminution on the medial side there are interfrac screws through the plate which is again in a locking plate not advisable so this is going to pull out or it is going to break sooner or later i think gawale sir knows everything i'm sure he's not seen the x ray no i know you not <laughs> because the thing is uh, it of course failed it did not exactly fail like he said but it failed like this okay uh, the head dropped and it dropped at 4 weeks it did not take long so within 6 weeks you come to know uh, if it's going to fail drastically these are not the same cases it's the same case yeah it's the same case i have just operated on this because there is you know and when the head goes into varus so there were two non union sites if you see this thing is non united this is over here is non united the above is non united both of the both the fracture sites were non united and uh, this one is still non united i put a reverse but this is non united we put bone chips we cemented till here we not put the cement here but we'll see if this one unites or not but at this stage when the head goes into varus uh it was started after 4 weeks yeah there was no hole in the head there was no hole in the head uh, probably because uh, head is very very poor bone quality and um I, <laughs> maybe it's a poor construct as gawale sir says but uh, this is what it is anyway um uh, this is a recent case i don't have the follow ups but rest assured um, um uh, there was possibly many people would have fixed it the same way anyway we'll just move on now um i'll just show you another x ray so again so 70 year old the number 7 is actually a little difficult to uh, uh, manage so whenever we see number 7 and that's why i've got seven cases also so again 72 year old so the omnious thing here would be a uh, head split 
so the fracture has gone inside the head so head fracture which has gone into varus again it's a little bit um, your your red flag should go up not that it cannot be fixed and uh, would anyone want to replace it anybody wants to replace this fracture would of course be justified because after 70 you can of course replace this you can do a reverse shoulder if you believe in hemi shoulder you may do hemi shoulder i don't believe in it but of course this can be replaced we just fixed it and uh, you follow the principles you do a good rotator cuff sutures and fix it on the plates and this is at one year it has healed she has no pain now this is another case where again 70 year old so why these are difficult is because the bone in in the head is, is of very poor quality the fixation sometimes is not good in the head so it can fail with anyone i believe um, and this is another case which uh, was sort of in the head fractured line going through the head again the head uh, is in varus fixed it one year and then of course these are the movements so philos has been blamed because we don't see good movements many times but it's not always the same um, if you respect the biology the soft tissues the movements are not bad with philos now these are the intermediate difficulty cases now this one is a anteriorly dislocated three part it's not four part it's three part fracture dislocation now age is on your side you know that it would unite if you respect the biology the soft tissues and you do a, you do a good reduction I, I think this would unite so the most problematic problem in this case would be to reduce the head in such a way that you don't disturb the soft tissue a lot now if you reduce the head you fix it with philos they always get good movements. So young patients, you don't have to worry about movements and you don't have to worry about a union. Sometimes it's just a reduction which is not very proper. Now this is another, so, so, so less than 60 year old, I have a favorable outlook uh, when I'm dealing with less than 60 year old patients. The only problem comes uh, when there is a head split again. So this one, the fracture has gone inside the head. It may be called a head split according to some, it's the, the definition of a head split is not presently very clear, but I would consider if, it, uh, if, if it's gone beyond one centimeter inside the head split, uh, inside the head fragment, articular fragment cartilage, then I think I would call it a head split. But when you have fractures like these, you can always fix them. It's not, it's not a contraindication to philos at some people believe. And even the head fragment unites, so if you see the intraarticular part also unites over here. This was the intraarticular, it goes into union. And I don't have a, a range of motion, but she had a pretty good range of motion at the end of one year. So, and avascular necrosis is high in these cases, but not always. Now, uh, this one is easy to treat. If you see, if you get a, f a fracture like this, which is little minimally displaced, but not a great lot, uh, a greatly displaced. It's just a little bit of displacement. Um, if you just give him a sling, they unite pretty well. It may be a little bit in varus, but the functional movements, they don't, uh, they are not much different from the normal hand. They're pretty happy if you uh, conserve them and uh, you start the movements at around three weeks you get good range of motion, you get good union. Probably the easiest to treat is this one. Now this is a 17 year old boy. Um, if, if you see the CT scan, you always get a little alarmed because it shows always some tilting of the fragment. Okay, so this is a, the angulation is anteriorly. It's like this, there's some tilting, but that's a CT scan which always shows more than you want to see. If you see the X-ray, it looks minimally displaced only. And these are waiting to unite. Young people, proximal numerous fractures, you give them a sling, these are waiting to unite. And at the end of one month, at the end of one month, so I, in young people, we start movements, range of motion exercises, all at two weeks. Some people are arguing even at one week, I start at two weeks. At four weeks, they have range of motion, which is uh, actually surprising. So young people, they unite very fast. I start the exercises at around two weeks, I remove the sling. And at four weeks, six weeks, they, they are already uh, taking the hand up. 
and probably for philos enthusiasts so the this is a fracture which i don't know how it could have gone if you had conserved but uh, it's a 55 year old guy it's not a difficult one to uh, fix philos is not difficult in this because as soon as you open you reduce the tuberosity the fragments fall into place you put a philos plating and this is a 8 year follow up united very well no no complaints with philos till now it no pain no impingement and uh, good range of motion so uh, to sum up i think most of my cases are non operatively in sling probably 50 50 i would say non op 50% non op 50% philos a uh, reverse shoulder would be less than 10% 5 10% would go to reverse shoulder where i cannot uh, reduce the head without stripping the tissues i would probably do a reverse or if just multi comminuted fracture i would do a reverse thank you